The product life cycle, or PLC, is a fundamental concept in marketing. It describes the stages a product goes through from its introduction to its decline. Understanding the PLC is crucial for businesses. It helps them make informed decisions about marketing, pricing and product development. By recognising the stage their product is in, businesses can adapt their strategies for maximum profitability. The PLC is typically depicted as a bell-shaped curve with four distinct stages. Introduction, Growth, Maturity and Decline. Each stage presents unique opportunities and challenges. Businesses need to be aware of these dynamics to effectively manage their products throughout their life cycles. The PLC provides a framework for understanding product performance over time. It is a powerful tool for strategic planning, resource allocation and innovation. By mastering the PLC, businesses can optimise their product portfolios and achieve sustainable growth. The introduction stage marks the launch of a new product into the market. It is characterised by low sales volume, high costs and the need to create awareness among potential customers. During this stage, businesses focus on educating early adopters about the product's benefits and features. Marketing efforts are geared towards building brand awareness and generating initial demand. Pricing strategies may vary depending on the product and target market. Some companies opt for premium pricing to recoup development costs, while others use competitive pricing to gain market share. A prime example of a successful product launch is the introduction of the Apple iPhone in 2007. Apple created significant buzz around the iPhone through a well-executed marketing campaign. This campaign highlighted the phone's innovative features, sleek design and user-friendly interface. The iPhone's success in the introduction stage laid the foundation for its phenomenal growth in the subsequent stages. It quickly became a cultural phenomenon, transforming the mobile phone industry and solidifying Apple's position as a technology leader. The growth stage is marked by a rapid increase in sales and market acceptance of the product. As demand surges, new competitors enter the market attracted by the product's profitability. During this stage, businesses focus on expanding distribution channels, increasing production capacity and differentiating their product from the competition. Marketing efforts shift towards building brand loyalty and retaining existing customers while continuing to attract new ones. Companies may introduce product variations or enhancements to cater to different market segments. The smartphone industry provides a compelling example of the growth stage. Following the iPhone's success, numerous companies entered the market, each offering its own take on the smartphone concept. The competition led to rapid innovation, lower prices and a wider variety of smartphones to choose from. During this stage, companies like Samsung, HTC and LG emerged as major players. They challenged Apple's dominance by offering innovative features, competitive pricing and aggressive marketing campaigns. The growth stage of the smartphone industry transformed the way people communicate, access information and consume entertainment. The maturity stage is characterised by a slowdown in sales growth as the market becomes saturated. Most potential customers have already adopted the product and competition intensifies. Businesses focus on maximising profits, defending market share and extending the product's life cycle. Marketing efforts emphasise product differentiation, competitive pricing and promotions to entice customers to switch brands. Companies may also invest in product improvements or new features to maintain customer interest and loyalty. The soft drink market exemplifies the maturity stage. Established brands like Coca-Cola and Pepsi compete fiercely for market share in a highly competitive environment. They focus on brand loyalty product extensions like diet versions and new flavours and aggressive advertising campaigns. To remain competitive, soft drink companies have also diversified their product portfolios. They have introduced bottled water, sports drinks and energy drinks to cater to changing consumer preferences and health concerns. Section 5 – The Decline Stage Adapting to Changing Tides the decline stage is inevitable for most products. It is marked by declining sales, shrinking profit margins and a shift in consumer preferences. Businesses have several options during this stage. They can choose to discontinue the product, sell it to another company or attempt to revitalize it. 
Section 6. Strategic Implications of the Product Life Cycle The product life cycle has significant strategic implications for businesses. During the introduction and growth stages, invest in marketing and product development. In the maturity stage, focus on maximizing profitability and defending market share. In the decline stage, decide whether to discontinue, sell or revitalize the product. Aligning strategies with the PLC optimizes product portfolios and achieves sustainable growth. Case studies, successes and failures in the product life cycle. The Apple iPod thrived due to continuous innovation and effective marketing. The Sony Walkman, however, became obsolete by failing to adapt. These cases show the importance of innovation and market adaptation. Section 8. Mastering the Product Life Cycle – A Continuous Journey Mastering the product life cycle is not a one-time event, but rather a continuous journey. Businesses need to constantly monitor the market, analyze consumer trends, and adapt their strategies accordingly. This involves staying ahead of the competition, identifying new opportunities, and making tough decisions about product discontinuation or revitalization. Effective product lifecycle management requires a deep understanding of the target market, the competitive landscape, and the product's strengths and weaknesses. It also requires a willingness to adapt, innovate, and make difficult decisions in a timely manner. By embracing the product life cycle as a guiding framework, businesses can navigate the challenges and capitalize on the opportunities presented by each stage. This enables them to optimize their product portfolios, allocate resources effectively, and achieve sustainable growth in today's dynamic business environment. Section 9. The Product Life Cycle and Innovation Innovation is crucial for managing the product life cycle effectively. During the introduction and growth stages, innovation is essential for differentiating the product from the competition and capturing market share. As the product matures, innovation helps extend the product's life cycle by introducing new features, improving existing ones or finding new uses for the product. Companies that fail to innovate risk being left behind by competitors or becoming irrelevant as consumer preferences evolve. The product life cycle provides a framework for understanding when and how to innovate to maximize product success. By aligning innovation efforts with the product life cycle, businesses can ensure that their products remain competitive, relevant and profitable throughout their life cycles. Innovation is not just about creating new products, it's also about continuously improving existing ones to meet changing customer needs and market demands. Section 10. Resource Allocation and the Product Life Cycle The product life cycle provides valuable insights for resource allocation decisions. During the introduction and growth stages, businesses need to allocate significant resources to marketing, product development and production capacity expansion. As the product matures, resources can be shifted towards profitability optimization, market share defense and product life cycle extension. Understanding the stage of the PLC for each product in their portfolio enables businesses to allocate resources strategically and efficiently. This ensures that resources are directed towards the products with the highest growth potential and profitability prospects. By aligning resource allocation decisions with the product life cycle, businesses can maximize their return on investment and achieve sustainable growth. This requires careful analysis of market trends, competitive dynamics and the product's position within the PLC. Section 11, a conclusion, the enduring relevance of the product life cycle. The product life cycle remains an enduring concept in marketing due to its ability to provide a framework for understanding product performance over time. By recognizing the stage of the PLC for each product in their portfolio, businesses can make informed decisions about marketing, pricing, product development and resource allocation. The PLC is not a static concept. It is influenced by various factors, including technological advancements, changing consumer preferences and competitive dynamics. Therefore, businesses need to continuously monitor the market, analyze trends and adapt their strategies accordingly. 
By embracing the product life cycle as a guiding framework, businesses can navigate the challenges and capitalize on the opportunities presented by each stage. This enables them to optimize their product portfolios, allocate resources effectively, and achieve sustainable growth in today's dynamic and competitive business environment.